Hi everyone, I'm Flavia and thank you for watching. In today's video, we will be creating a fun fold note card and I hope you give it a try. This type of note card is very easy to make and a fun surprise for the recipient. When this card is folded, it looks like any regular note card. However, when you open it, it reveals three more panels to complete the rest of that one image that we can see when the note card is folded closed. To make this note card, I will be using the Spellbinders We Heart You Clean Rubber Stamp part of the House Mouse Winter Collection. With this stamp set, we get one large image and a sentiment stamp that says thinking of you. If you're interested, there is a supply list in the description box down below so you can check it out later. Let's begin by creating the card base. To do so, we need a piece of cardstock that measures 9 inches tall by 7 inches wide. We will need to score and fold this piece of cardstock in half at three and a half inches. Once that's done, we will need to cut this in half at four and a half inches to create two side folding card bases that are about the same size as A1 size note cards. If you're stamping a larger image, you can use a bigger card base such as A2 or A7 size note cards. Once we are done stamping, we will adhere these two cards card bases together to create a Z fold note card with three panels in total. However, I think it is better if we do the stamping and coloring first. Since I want to stamp one critter on each panel, I will temporarily number these panels with a pencil so I know where I should stamp the first, the second and the third mouse and later when I'm done, I will erase these numbers. To stamp these images, I will use my Misty stamping tool and since this is a clink rubber stamp, we will need to remove the black foam that comes with the Misty tool to be able to stamp with rubber stamps. On this first panel, I only want to stamp that first mouse holding the letter I. To be able to do so, I will place the stamp over my panel and close the Misty door to pick up the stamp while holding the cardstock in place with a magnet bar. Then I will apply ink mostly over that one image. However, since it is almost impossible to avoid getting ink onto the other mouse next to this first one, after I apply ink to the stamp, I will cover the sections that I do not want to stamp right now with full sticky post-it notes. As we can see with this first result, the post-it did a great job protecting the cardstock from the unwanted sections. However, we stamped the fur on the right side a little bit too short. I think this is barely noticeable, but if it bothers you, I will show you a trick in a minute to fix that. Moving on to the second panel, I will repeat that same process so I can now stamp the mouse in the center holding the heart-shaped lollipop. But before I do so, here is a time saver trick for you. Instead of cleaning up the stamp each time we stamp a section so we can reposition it again over the cardstock, we can simply place a piece of clear acetate that came with the stamp over the cardstock to protect it from getting ink as we are trying to line up the stamp with the cardstock. Once we have the stamp centered, we can close the door to pick up the stamp, remove the clear acetate and proceed to stamping the second image on panel number two. Because we have one mouse on the right and another one on the left of this one, we will need to add sticky post-its on both sides of the stamp. And again, if it bothers you that we are stamping the fur on one side too short, do not worry too much about it because we will fix it in a minute. Moving on to the third image, I will again use that clear acetate to protect the cardstock that I have on my stamping tool as I try to line up the stamp with my panel. Then I will close the door to pick up the stamp, remove the acetate that is on top of my cardstock and add ink to the last mouse on the right holding the letter U. I will reuse those pieces of post-its to cover the sections that I do not wish to stamp and here is a closer look. If you happen to get ink stains on your projects, make sure to use a sand eraser like this one to remove it. Another trick is to add embellishments to hide your mistakes. 
To fix the fur that we stamped too short on their bodies, we can simply draw it longer with a fine tip black pen as I'm doing here. Just make sure to be very light handed and follow the direction of the rest of the fur on each body. To add some color to these images, I used Copic markers, but we will skip this step because I am not really good at coloring. Basically, I chose a light pink color for their faces and a light brown color for their bodies. Then, because I did not like the shade of brown that I chose and I was not willing to start all over, I went over their bodies with a colorless marker to make the brown color a little bit lighter. To color the pink lollipops, I used Scopic markers in the colors RV04 and RV09. For the red lollipop, I used the colors RV24 and RV27. Even though I am not really good at coloring and I get really intimidated by it, I do enjoy coloring these images because there is so much detail when we stamp it that I don't think it requires a lot when coloring and I don't think we need to know how to do all of that fancy shading stuff because I think that the stamped image itself is enough. And even though I did not do any fancy coloring here, I did find a way to make these lollipops look glossy just like a real lollipop. Before we get into that, let's adhere these card bases together using strong liquid adhesive. Actually, before I do that, I will trim a little bit off of this panel so it fits nicely. This side, which I am trimming off, is the one where we will apply liquid adhesive and adhere it to the back of the panel number 2. By the way, off screen, I did make this note card a little bit shorter to better fit these small stamped images. So instead of this note card being 4.5 inches tall, like it was at the beginning, it is now 4.25 inches tall. To add some shading at the bottom, I used a blending brush and ink pad by Simon Says Stamp in the color Sea Foam. For the sentiment, I will die cut the words Love You using metal plates included in the Spellbinders September 2021 small die of the month. Unfortunately, this set is not available anymore, but remember that we can also use the sentiment stamp included in the set. I will cut the words out of golden cardstock and for the shadow pieces I will use black cardstock. I cut out three pieces for each word and shadow so I can stack them and make them stand out even more. Then I will position the die cut sentiment at the front panel next to the lollipop in the shape of the letter I to form the sentiment I love you. After that, I decided to add some flowers and leaves that I already had ready to go, except for these red ones that I just cut out of a piece of red glitter cardstock. To make the process easier, I will switch between a pair of self-lock tweezers and a wax pencil to help me hold these small die cuts. Since the ink from the markers bled through the cardstock, I will add white panels in the back to hide that, which is actually great because it will also make this note card feel heavyweight and stand nicely on display. This note card, when folded, measures 4 and a quarter inches tall by 3 and a half inches wide, and each one of these white panels that I am adding measure 4 inches tall by 3 and a quarter inches wide. 
And now to make these lollipops shiny and glossy, we will need a shimmer pen and Nouveau Glossy Accents. First, I will apply a generous amount of shimmer to each lollipop using my Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen. Then, I will apply Ranger Glossy Accents on top, making sure to stay inside the lines. After that, we will need to set this aside to dry for a couple of hours, and that is why I saved this step for last. In the meantime, if you are also making a smaller than A1 size note card, as I am today, and all of your envelopes are too big, you can customize your envelopes by trimming them off so they better fit your note card. Since I usually make A2 size note cards, I have a lot of A2 size envelopes. So I will trim a quarter inch off from the right, left and bottom of this A2 size envelope. Then I will use liquid adhesive to glue the sides closed again. I will also trim about a quarter inch off from the flap of the envelope and use a corner rounder to give it a more finished look. Using the sentiment stamp included in the set, I stamped Thinking of You using black ink. Here is a closer look at the completed note card along with an extra one. I had a lot of fun creating and I hope you enjoyed this video and felt inspired. For pictures and more information, make sure to visit my blog. And if you make something inspired by this video, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you create. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and happy crafting!